everyone today i'm going to start the second chapter of class 6 from the book oxford press university and the chapter name is a day's wait which is written by the famous writer ernest hemingway so here i start a day's wait he came into the room to shut the windows while we were still in bed and i saw he looked ill He was shivering. His face was white and he walked slowly as though it ached to move. Now here the speaker is saying that when he was in st- uh, bed when he was not totally wake up that time a person came and the gender is male he came and he shut the windows and he was shivering. He was not like he was not looking like normal he was not looking comfortable and he was walking so slowly as he is having some pain to move what's the matter shats i have got a headache he replied that i have i'm having a headache you better go back to bed he replied no i'm all right you go to bed i will see you when i am dressed now he is saying you go to bed i will see you back when i will change i will be ready okay but when i came downstairs he was dressed sitting by the fire looking a very sick and miserable boy of 9 years see in the picture also you can easily check out the situation the boy the little boy of 9 years is sitting on a sofa and his father is standing with him okay and he was looking sick looking a very sick and miserable boy of 9 years again i have repeated the line it means he is not well the boy of 9 years not well when i put my hand on his forehead i knew he had a fever you go up to bed i said you are sick the father said father instructed that go back to your bedroom and take rest because you are sick i'm all right he said but he replied that i'm all right when the doctor came he took the boy's temperature he have seen that boy's temperature body temperature now father asked what is it 102 the temperature his body temperature is 102 he was having fever Downstairs the doctor left three different medicines in different colored capsules with instruction for giving them. One was to bring down the fever, not some tablets he has given. So now he is telling that what what work or for which thing those capsules were. One for to bring down the temperature, to bring down the fever. Another uh, purgative. Now in the yellow color box, you can check out the meaning of purgative. The meaning is a pill, a medicine to clear the stomach. If you are having any uh, protoxic in the stomach, then from that medicine it will be cleared out. The third to overcome an acid condition. Acid means if you are having acid in the stomach, then from that last medicine, third one, it will be sorted out. The germs of influenza can only exist in an acid condition. If you are having acid in the stomach, then germs of influenza definitely will be there. He explained who. father okay he seemed to know all about influenza and said there was nothing to worry about it about if the fever did not go above 104 degrees now he's saying that it's normal you are having 102 degrees temperature and it till it no, will not go till 104 till the time everything is normal so don't worry this was a light epidemic of flu and there was no danger if you avoided pneumonia back in the room i wrote the boy's temperature down he has written somewhere in the diary or somewhere and made a note of the medicine to ha- uh, to give the various capsule means along with the time he has mentioned all the tablets name that went to give which dose right like that okay do you want me to read to you now his father is asking that you want that i should read some book for you All right if you want to now he's rep- he replied that if you wants to read you can read it shows that boy is not having any interest in listening the story right 
His face was very white and there were dark areas under his eyes means he is having tension because of tension and stress uh, we easily see a person with dark circle right he lay still in the bed and seemed very detached from what was going on means he was not pre mentally present in the current situation he was somewhere else he was he was listening or thinking something different Okay, he's, he was not paying attention what his father is reading in front of him. I read aloud from Howard Pyle's book of Pirate, but I could see he was not following what I was reading. He was not having interest. How do you feel, sad? I asked him. Just the same so far, he said. I sat at the foot of the bed and read to myself. Now he is reading reading the book while I waited for it to be time to give another capsule. Now he is not reading for the son because he was not ready to listen. He was somewhere else. So the father was now father has settled down. He sat on the foot of the bed and he started reading for himself and he was waiting for the time to give the another capsule to the boy. It would have been natural for him to go to sleep. After having medicine, we always feel sleepy. But when I looked up, he was looking at the foot of the bed. But the boy was not had uh, haven't slept yet. He was looking at the bed, looking very strangely. God knows that what's going inside his mind. On which topic he is thinking so deeply. Why don't you try to go to sleep? I will wake you up for the medicine. Now father said that you sleep comfortably when your time will come for the next medicine for the next dose. I will make you alert. I had rather stay awake. Now he said that in place of sleeping I want to I want to awake. Okay, I don't want to sleep, he replied. After a while, he said to me, You don't have to stay in here with me, Papa, if he, if it bothers you. Now, he is saying that if it bothers you, then Papa, you can go. You can do your work. Now, father replied, It doesn't bother me. Means he is taking in different manner because his son is sick and son is saying that you should not bother. So, father said, Why should? Means I should not bother. You are sick and I should not bother. Now, son replied, no, I mean, you don't have to stay if it's going to bother you. That if you are feeling that it's going to bother you, then you can leave. I thought perhaps he was a little lightheaded. Now, father think after listening the statement from son that he is trying to say that right now he is feeling much better. And after giving him the prescribed capsule at 11 o'clock I went out for a while the father left the room it was a bright cold day the ground covered with a sleet that had frozen so that it seemed as if all the bare trees the bushes and uh, the cut brush and all the grass and the bare ground had been vanished with ice now he's telling the situation the environment when he went out it was very cold Huh? And because of snow, snow has covered everything, cut bushes, grasses, everything has been covered with snow, with ice. I took the young Irish setter. Now setter uh, meaning is, here it's given, you can check also, a breed of dog. Okay, so he took the Irish dog for a little walk up the road and along a frozen creek. But it was difficult to stand or walk on a glassy surface. Glassy because of snow. Okay, so it's difficult to walk on a snowy surface. And the red dog slipped and dog also slipped on that surface and slithered and I felt twice hard. And he also fell on the snow floor twicely. Okay, we flushed a covey of quail under a high clay bank with overhanging brush. Flush means a group of, a group of what? Here it's given, you can check immediately when these type of words come, you can go through this yellow box. Okay, so now flushed means caused a bird to rise and fly away sudden in fear. When you have seen sometime, uh, when you go closer to birds, they used to, fly away from there immediately suddenly right so we flushed a covey 
कॉवे मीन्स अ स्मॉल फ्लॉक ऑफ बर्ड्स दे मेड टू मेक ऑल दोज बर्ड्स टू फ्लाई अंडर अ हाई क्ले बैंक विद ओवर हैंगिंग ब्रश एंड आई सॉ टू एज दे वेंट आउट ऑफ साइट ओवर द टॉप ऑफ द बैंक सम ऑफ द ऑफ द कॉवे हिड इन ट्रीज सम ऑफ द क्रिएचर हैज़ हिडन इन द ट्रीज बट द मोस्ट ऑफ दैम स्कैटर्ड इन टू ब्रश पाइल्स एट द हाउस दिस सेट द बॉय हैड रिफ्यूज टू लेट एनी वन कम इन टू द रूम यू कैंट कम इन ही सेट द बॉय सेट यू मस्ट सिंट गेट वॉट आई हैव ओके नाउ द बॉय इज नॉट रेडी टू टू मेक एनी वन एंटर इन हिज बेडरूम ही सेंग डोंट कम इन साइड बिकॉज वॉट आई एम हैविंग वॉट फीवर वॉट सिम्टम्स आई एम हैविंग यू विल ऑल्सो हैव द सेम ओके ना अगेन आई एम रीडिंग दिस लाइन सो यू विल बेटर अंडरस्टैंड यू कॉन्ट कम इन ही सेट दोज दोज हु आर ट्राइंग टू कम इन साइड द बेडरूम ऑफ दैट सिक बॉय ही इज गिविंग दिस इन स्टेटमेंट दैट यू कॉन्ट कम इन You mustn't get what I have. तुम्हें ना वो हो जाए जो मुझे हो रहा है right? I went up to him and found him in exactly the position. Our father has came back and he has seen the boy in the same position. I had left him, white-faced but with the top of his cheek flushed by the fever. Means from his uh, cheeks heat was coming. Means staring still and he had stared at the. foot of the bed again still he was looking at the foot of the bed i look i took his temperature father checked his temperature again what is it the boy asked something like a 100 i said it was 102 and 4 tenth tenth by 4 okay so it was a 102 he said who said so the doctor Your temperature is all right I said it's nothing to worry about father is saying I don't worry now boy replied that I don't worry but I can't keep from thinking now he's saying that I'm unable to stop my thinking I'm not having problem with my fever and all but I don't know why I'm I'm dissolving I'm going deep and deep in thinking don't think father replied just take it easy I'm taking it easy he said and looked straight ahead he was evidently holding tight on to himself about something he is having some tense uh, tension inside his mind it's looking from his face take this with water now father is giving the medicine and he is giving the water to the boy do you think it will do any good now boy said that this medicine will good uh, do any good thing to me of course it will I sat down and opened the pirate book and commenced to read but I could see he was not following he was not interested so I stopped about what time do you think I am going to die he asked such a strange question the boy asked now father was so shocked after listening this question and he replied what about how long will it be before I die die मतलब कितना टाइम बचा है मेरे मरने में ही वॉज आस्किंग दिस यू आर एंड गोइंग टू डाई वॉट्स अ मैटर विद यू फादर रिप्लाई दैट यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू डाई एंड वॉट हैपन वॉट हैपन हैपनिंग टू यू वाई यू आर आस्किंग एर और सेंग दिस सिली थिंग्स ओ येस आई एम आई हर्ड हिम से वन हंड्रेड एंड टू एंड ही सेंग दैट मैंने उसे सुना था बोलते हुए वन हंड्रेड टू people don't die with a fever of 102 that's a silly way to talk my father is saying that in temperature of 102 human never dies you're talking so silly i know they do now boy is saying i know that they die in this such kind uh, this temperature at school in france the boy told me you can't live with 44 degrees i have got a 102 he had been waiting to die all day ever since 9 o'clock in the morning it means he is thinking about this only that's why he was very much tense and he's thinking about his death from 9 o'clock in the morning you poor chat i said poor old chat it's like miles and kilometers 
that temperature is different you aren't going to die that's a different thermometer and the body temperature from which we used to check human body temperature that thermometer is different on that thermometer about which about that thermometer you are talking about in that therm in that thermometer 37 is normal on this kind it's 98 and in human temperature it's 98 degree okay are you sure boy asked absolutely i said it's like it's like miles and kilometers you know like how many kilometers we makes when we do 70 miles in the car oh he said but he gazed at the foot of the bed relax slowly now finally not in tension he is looking at the foot of the bed now slowly and slowly he is relaxed the hold over himself relaxed too and now the things which is going into him into that boy that also uh, releasing from his mind finally and the next day it was very slack and he cried very easily a little things that were of no importance it means he is having the nature the things which are not having any importance or any bad result he thinks about those things okay so this is all about the chapter if you have any doubt any problem you can ask me in the group privately or if you want to ask me in the comment section then you can tell me your query there thank you so much See you in the next lecture.